Hey, I'm going to do a really quick review on the unboxing of this Expert Grill. Charcoal pizza oven. So, here's some things that I'm noticing. Um, and I've watched all the videos on YouTube before I bought this, and I decided that this is completely the way to go. But it's not a perfect pizza oven, and we'll get into that here in a second. But let's talk about what I like about it. So what you're going to get, I haven't installed the legs. Obviously, here's the legs, and they screw on. And if you want to see other people's videos with their legs screwed on, you could do that. But here's the inside. And what you're looking at is it's a double wall. And there's this glossy, hopefully you can see it. But there's this glossy, uh, shiny metal inside that looks like it's very reflectionary. So this is awesome. You know, big fan of that. When I bought it, I wasn't sure what I was getting. I thought I was just getting a single piece of painted steel. But no, you're actually getting two pieces of steel. And this one's shiny and reflective. That's awesome. Um... Obviously, there's your thermometer gauge, and it goes all the way up to a thousand degrees. And uh, looks like a two and a half inch chimney. Um, the door, really dig this door. It's lightweight. I like how it secures very easily, and it gets the job done. Insulated handle, that's nice. Um, what really sold me on this, unlike some of those unis where you got to take the firebox and you got to load it up with your, well, I guess you don't have to load it up, but you know, the charcoal box comes in the front and then you access the little fuel port in the back. This thing, and you've probably seen this in the videos too. This thing has this gigantic, beautiful, there, let me flip this. Look at the size of this fuel box. This thing, it's just incredible. Uh, this thing just blows away everything that I've found. Um, you could put so much fuel in here. My intention is to jam it full of... Uh, well, normally when I grill, I usually use about one-third charcoal and then uh, two-thirds wood because I have elm tr or, uh, silver maple in my backyard and oak in the front. So I got infinite free wood. So the charcoal gets it started, and then the wood is actually what delivers, you know, the high temperatures and sustains the, the cook. Um, that works great on the Weber. It'll work fine in here, and it's free. So um, you have a steel handle, but there's a gasket here. And it looks like this handle is hopefully going to be cool enough to touch without a glove, yet to be handled. But... This whole design is just incredible. Great job, whoever designed this thing. Um, it does look like there's an ash pan that sits below that. So you put the ash pan in, and that goes in like that. All right, so, and then, you know, if you want to clean it, there, you dump your ash pan. Here's what, here's where the meat of this video is going to get, though. I'll talk about the deficiency of this. So, the problem with these, oh, there's Rocco. Hi, Rocco. <laughs> Rocco's my beautiful Weimariner. Okay, so the problem with these ovens is that this is great that you have a double wall insulated up here. Here's the pizza stone, and it slides in like this, and then it goes in, I'm shooting a video, okay, so the pizza stone sits in just like that, and problem is, is all the heat's going to be up here, and this pizza stone, if you preheat this oven for a long time, I'm guessing 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you'll eventually get this pizza stone hot enough 
where it'll brown the crust properly. Um, but the problem is, is when you see all these videos, everyone on this particular pizza oven, they get these beautiful top of the pizza cooked just perfectly. The bottom of the crust is, on a lot of the videos, the crust isn't cooked quite to my perfection. And the reason why is as soon as you put a pizza on this, there's just no insulation. It's just a thin piece of cordite. And, you know, you put a pizza on this and it just cools instantly. And I guess it's okay if you have a, a really small, skinny, thin pizza. But, and then there's no insulating layer underneath this thing. There's just nothing there. However, I believe the solution, and there's the air vent. Here's where the air would come up, I guess, another air vent, and then there's a thin air pocket. Um, the solution is if you want to buy an aftermarket pizza stove, or pizza stone, and there's one on Amazon, and it's 15 by 15 inches. This is also 15 by 15, and it measures uh, 0.67 inch thick, which is like right about 11 sixteenths of an inch. Now... There is a little bit of a wiggle room. You can kind of see it right there. And I've measured uh, from the top of the stone to the top of the metal there on both sides. And it looks like you've got 11 sixteenths of an inch. So if you bought the aftermarket stone on Amazon, and uh, I'll try to include the link in the descriptions, and if not, maybe in the comment, uh, you can put this aftermarket pizza stone. It's a $40 stone, but it weighs like nine pounds. And if it doesn't fit in there, you could probably take an angle grinder and just round off the edges of the cordite carefully, and then it should slide in there. But for a future, uh, future video, I'm going to do the mod. But as of right now, I'm just going to do, you know, a quick show and tell of what I have and what I like and what I don't like. So in general, I love everything about this. It's just no insulation down here, thin stone, no heat coming you know, from the bottom. So preheating this thing and getting that stone crazy hot is gonna be what's required to even have a chance at uh, getting a nice crispy crust. Anyway, hope that helps somebody. This is the Expert Grill, charcoal, pizza oven.